Okay, we're going to do a how-to video on how to tie up a double jig rig, or at least how I tie it up. Um, we're going to use a size 1. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a size 1 owner cutting point bass hook. Right there. And this is how we're going to tie it. It's called a down shot offset. Um, thread the line through it upside down see if I can do this being half blind slide it up eh, two feet or so give yourself a little extra line make sure I don't run into a dock while I'm doing this that'd be great huh um, then go ahead and make yourself a fairly good sized loop here with your line take a little bit of slack here try to keep them even you're going to drop that hook through the loop three times. One, two, three. Basically, you just tied triple overhand knot. That's all that is. I kind of grab the pinch the knot, wet it, slide it down, slide it into place. And now you've got a loop knot just like that. That's all that is. Now, your lure will hang off of that, your, your, your grub body or whatever you're going to run on it. What we're going to put on the end for the weight is something new. It is called a fin spin by Crappie Magnet. Um, I've had them for a while. I never used it. I tried them yesterday, um, and they worked pretty good. We didn't get any footage, unfortunately, due to the fact that I got new cameras and I hit the wrong button and I took 50,000 still shots instead of filming. So no film footage from yesterday, um, but we are recording today. So um, and then again, what we're going to do here is run it through the eyelet so I can find it. Get it to your desired depth. I'm going to probably keep it about a foot and a half or so away. Um, again, make that loop. Just like that. We're going to drop that through there three times. One. And if you can get to keep the hook from sticking in you. Two. Three. Again, grab the base of the knot, wet it, pull it down, and cinch it right up. And we'll grab a pair of pliers here, have some line cutters on them. We're going to trim that tag end off. Make sure you hit the tag end. Now, we have a jig rig just like that. We'll put a jig body on there. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to put on it today yet, but probably use maybe a Team Ricky jig on the bottom and a crappie magnet on the top and see what happens. That is how I do a double jig rig. 